Mars is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a prize package worth over $2,300. Ah! Which star is it? Buddy Hackett. <laughs> Karen Valentine. Charlie Weaver. Hope Lang. Wally Cox. Virginia Graham. Joey Bishop. Dennis Weaver. Or Paul Lynn. All in the Hollywood Square. And here is the master of the Hollywood Square, Peter Martin. Thank you, Jenny Williams, and a very good evening. Welcome to the Hollywood Square. Hello, stars. Hello, Hi. Hi. Lovely friends back with us this evening. Buddy Hackett, Joey Bishop, Dennis Weaver, Karen Paul, Virginia Graham Wally, and Hope Lang from the Dick Van Dyke Show, and our buddy Chuck the Weaver. We have a beautiful young lady who is our Miss Circle. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Janet Minami. Janet, welcome to the Hollywood Square. Janet is from Wyoming, beautiful state, now a librarian at King Junior High School, married to an engineer. I wish you luck this evening. We will now welcome Mr. Rex. This is Charlie McLean. Chuck, nice to see you. Charlie, originally from Ohio, is that right? Now, uh, I guess you were retired, is it Navy or Army captain? Captain. Uh, captain Army. of the Army, right. X gets the square. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> he is now married to a nurse, and he does private investigating as a hobby. Kind of hard for you to sneak around, isn't it, Charlie? Oh, no, no. Oh, no? We All right. We Say, we have this commercial word, then we'll start the first round. <laughs> Players is to get three stars in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally. It is up to them to figure out if a star is giving a correct answer or making one up. That's how they get the squares. Every completed game is worth $250, and the person who wins the most cash tonight will win a brand new car. In addition, in our first two games, they will play for a secret square. If one of the contestants happens to pick that secret square and is correct, this is the prize they'll receive in round one. Kenny? And X stars this secret square game. You get more with a Kenmore washer and dryer, special cycles for knits and permanent press, plus Sears dependability for service and parts, and the Sears Compact, a revolution household appliance packs one week's family trash and garbage into this little bag plus sears lady kenmore front-loading convertible portable dishwasher best peening lady in town all from sears and from college hall an elegant 755 dollars wardrobe of suits and sports coat style for today's burdened individual a new dimension in contemporary fashion from college hall and a week's day for two at the union plaza hotel newest in las vegas one of the world's largest casinos showrooms lounges gourmet rooms pool 504 rooms it's your play at the union plaza uh let us show the home audience the secret squares you know the stars are briefed before the show to help them with their bluffs. Charles, I understand you won the tossback stage. You'll start. Good luck, sir. To whom are you going? Yes, sir. Pick Mr. Wally Cox, please. And that's it. Woo! There you go, Charlie. Good luck on this question. It's worth over $2,300. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Uh, oh, yes, good evening. Are you yes. prepared? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. Would you pass on to the No, we can't. The game doesn't work that way. <laughs> Say, Clark Gable. Clark Gable was nicknamed the King by another famous actor. Was it Spencer Tracy, Humphrey Bogart, or Gary Cooper? Spencer Tracy. I'll agree. And he's right. I mean, yeah, he's right. right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> hey. What do you know about that? You know about that? <laughs> well, Charlie, you have won the washer and the dryer, the compact with the dishwasher, the men's clothes, the Las Vegas vacation, and we'll play for another Secret Square game uh, in our next game. Now, Janet, you'll choose the star. Good luck to you, dear. Dennis Weaver. If you hunt and peck, what activity are you engaged in? If you hunt and peck. What, you mean like a game? Uh, activity, hunt and peck. Yes. Well, that's a dance. It was, it was part of a dance called the Big Apple when I was uh, kind of in high school. And it was part of that dance, hunting and pecking and... Uh... Janet? Disagree. Uh, no, typing. It's the non-professional way of typing. And uh, good luck, uh, Dennis. Charlie, go right ahead. Charlie Weaver, please. Does dear Abby ever ask her husband for his advice? And no, she doesn't even know where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> I made that. That's sweet, yeah. No, I don't think she does. Even uh, if... <clears throat> you go right ahead, Captain. Yes, I'll disagree. You'll disagree? Good for you, Captain, because, yes, he helps her give advice to her readers. Well, the next day, Janet. Hope, ahead. Okay, hope Lang to block. Paul Newman does it 20 times at 6 o'clock in the morning, Hope. What does he do 20 times at 6 o'clock in the morning, Paul Newman? Um, well, I think it's push-ups. I agree. Swims, oh. 20 laps around his pool. Isn't that butch? Yes. Uh, you cannot put an X there. Uh, Charlie, you'll have to earn that yourself. Go right ahead. Uh... Hope Lang to win, That's please. That's the move, yes, for $250. Aristotle Onassis has commissioned a famous artist, Hope, to paint Jackie's portrait. Who is the artist? 
That's the artist, uh, well, it would have to, it's Andrew Wyeth. I'll agree. Salvador Dali. Uh, circle gets the square. A break for Janet Nanani here. Right. Uh, Paul in to win. For $250, Paul, at a recent party, Liz Taylor had 1,000 little diamonds and 25 large ones decorating a part of her body. Which part? Um, her chin. <laughs> uh, Twenty-five uh, large diamonds and one thousand little diamonds decorating one part of her body. Uh, what was on the other one? I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll say. Uh, let's see, twenty-five. Uh, uh, a thousand. A thousand little ones. Little ones. I, I was Twenty-five say, large diamonds decorating a belt or a choker. I'll, I'll go for a choker. A choker. I agree. Nope. nope. Her head. They were in oh. her hair, and she sparkled and glowed. Oh. We have an X there for Charlie McClain. <laughs> I'll go to win with Buddy Hackett. You... I don't talk to captains. You go to somebody else. <laughs> I was in the army and I didn't like it. <laughs> Every morning. I... Buddy, uh, uh, it'll be all right. Now, calm down here. Say, so you've lost a lot of weight, and now you have stretch marks. What? Uh, this is a hypothetical I hear question. I cat was coughing. Uh, excuse me. You've lost a lot of weight, and now you have stretch marks. Is there any way to get rid of them permanently? Your Certainly. Stretch marks? It's very simple. You take your head and put it on a fresh body. <laughs> no. Stretch marks last forever. They say there's a lot of ways to do it. You can take warm oil and rub it on it every night. Now, if the stretch marks in the right spot, you could have a good time. <laughs> but the stretch marks last forever. He says they're permanent. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small, but they never go away. I'll agree. He's right. What am I doing? I'm screaming here. Put an X there. <laughs> hey, we have this commercial. Then we'll return to a brand new game. <laughs> end our uh, round two before we begin round two let's find out what kind of prices we have in there that secret square there kenny there yes and circle starts the secret square game for from Kraler, one of the world's largest makers of upholstered furniture this handsome two-piece living room group performance tested fabrics old-fashioned Kraler craftsmanship and paneling from abitibi wood grained imperial with new in-depth graining warm lifelike charm from the makers of the beautiful put-ons abitibi corporation birmingham michigan and Hoover Swing at Ultra Compact Extra Powerful Mini Cleaner. Posed like a canister can be carried or worn. Attachments ready on Swing at's removable tool rack. And the 22 volume World Book Encyclopedia, including Research Guide. World Book contains over 13,000 pages. And the 15 volume Childcraft Books, the How and Why Library. Plus a $1,000 gift certificate from the famous Spiegel Catalog Company. Over 50,000 quality items providing value selection and economy. Spiegel Chicago 60609. Let us show the home audience the secret square in round two. Janet, you'll start it all. To whom are you going to? Buddy. Hackett. No, 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 no. Say so you are a 20-year-old girl and you live at your folks' house. Now, according to Dear Abby, is it proper for you to entertain your boyfriends there when they are not home? When the boyfriends ain't home. No, 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 when your parents are home. When my home. parents ain't home. Uh, is it all right for a 20-year-old girl to entertain her boyfriend? If she wants to make a few dollars. <laughs> By not having to chip in to go out somewhere, that's free. I say this. They have a statement, a man's home is his castle. We say a man's home, we actually mean people. Because in this day and age, all people, men, women, we have the liberation, we have the truth, the feeling, the believing, the knowing, the wanting, the belonging. You're turning me the, on, buddy. What is the question? <laughs> is it okay I for know you? the question. Is it okay I for say you? yes. According to Dear Abby, if she has any salt in her blood at all, he said it yes. is all right for a young lady because if parents haven't by the time uh, 20 yes, years he, old but, but, putting the right thing right, into a child, yes, we, we have, there's no help. We, he yes. said yes. Ow. Disagree? You disagree? It's yes. Oh. If you are incorrect, your opponent gets the square. Charlie, Didn't break trust to you. me, eh? Uh, Dennis Weaver, please. True or false, Anne Margaret is barely five feet tall. You mean she's five feet tall when she's bare? No, 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 no. In other words, 
Uh, is it true or false that Anne Margaret is just barely five is, feet tall? In other words, she's no more than five feet tall. Right. Try five, to remember, five, Dennis. Yeah, no, well, I mean, if you no, she's over five feet. She's over five feet tall. In every direction. <laughs> I'll agree. No, she isn't. She's pretty small, and uh, she is barely five feet tall. And we uh, we were looking for barely five, not over five. And we have turnabout fair play with the circle, Janet. I'll take Paul in. Paul, here's one on personality traits. Okay, here's one on personality traits. It's a person who sits with one leg over the arm of a chair, likely to be cooperative or uncooperative. Is uh, this person a man or a woman? <laughs> It doesn't state, really, Paul. I guess man or woman. But if a person is sitting there with one leg over the arm of the chair, is he or she likely to be cooperative or uncooperative? Uh, I would say uh, that's a very relaxed position. Uh, very cooperative. Cooperative. I disagree. No, it's uncooperative, Paul. And uh, we have the circle. You disagree? And it is your turn, child. Book line to block, please. True or false, Dean Martin's daughter recently announced her engagement to Jerry Lewis's son. Jerry loses. That's false. I agree. That's right, Dad. You do have the block. You are definite, Charlie. Janet, go right in again. Um, Secret Square worth over $2,200. How about Virginia Graham? That's it. Oh. 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 Virginia, we have the special envelope here. Charlie won the first one. Let's uh, hope that Janet wins this one. Who wrote the following? Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Was it Shakespeare, Sir Walter Scott, or Walt Whitman? Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Shakespeare, Sir Walter Scott, or Walt Whitman? I would say it's William Shakespeare. I disagree. It was Sir Walter Scott. You won it. <laughs> Here on the squares, two secret squares, one for each of our players, and uh, Janet, you have won the love seat. Oh, that's sweet. And the sofa, and the wall paneling, and the vacuum cleaners, and the books, and the $1,000 gift certificate. And we'll go back to the matter of money and Charlie McClain. Go right ahead, sir. And Karen Valentine, the book, please. Sure or false, dear? Bridget Bardot wears false freckles. <laughs> Um, well, no, they're real. I'll disagree. <laughs> they are false. You disagreed correctly, yes. False factors, eh, did you? We have the X. Uh, Janet, go right ahead. Your turn. Charlie Weaver to block. Who lives to be the oldest, a man or an elephant? Well, a man. And when you see an old man walking down the street, just sort of listless, and staring straight ahead, mm -hmm. it's probably because his elephant has passed on. But I'll remember that. Yes. Please Who say the man. Yes. Janet? I disagree. It is the man, yes. Oh. The average life of an elephant is 60 years, and a man's is 72. We cannot put an X there. You'll have to earn that yourself, Charles. Charlie Weaver. For $500. Presidents Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, James Garfield, Benjamin Harrison, William McKinley, William Taft, and Warren Harding. All came from the same state. Which one? Where I came from, Ohio. I agree. <laughs> and they were all members of the same party, the Republican Party. That is it. And you have $500. Charlie McClain, I congratulate you. Say now, we are going to clear the board and start the third game of the match. And you have $500, Charlie, which is very important because the player who wins the most cash during the show gets a special bonus prize. Kenny, tell us about that. Yes, it's a brand new Vega sedan. The little car by Chevrolet that does everything well. A success last year, now with improvement. Chevy's Vega. Say, if the show should end in the middle of a game, we will award our players $50 for each square they have on the board, which is very important because it will count toward their cash total and the big bonus prize. Now, you understand, we'll play until the game is up, and if one contestant has selected a star when the buzzer rings, we will then complete his or her turn and determine the winner of our brand new car. You'll start this round. Charlie, pick a star. Joey Bishop, please. At what time of year... Wait a minute. Uh, uh, sorry, Joe. I'm sitting here minding my own business. Right. I ain't bothering anybody. True. Right. I'm only here for one reason, Charlie. I'm not going to answer your questions. I'm driving Buddy Hackett home. 
<laughs> so just leave me alone. Let me sit here and forget it. Don't believe him, Charlie. Don't believe him. Buddy Hackett lives 400 yards away from me, and I had to come to Burbank to hear him talk. <laughs> Say, at what time of year is a robin redbreast's red breast reddest? Ha ha. Summer, winter, or fall? I heard the question, but mm -hmm. for $100, you cannot say it again without <laughs> flubbing it. I won't bet, but I'll give it a shot. At what time of year is a robin red breast, red breast reddest? Ha! I won 100 if I had bet. Summer, winter, or fall? I'm merely guessing, Charles. You understand? Because if I knew anything, I would be sitting in this cubicle. <laughs> it's a multiple guessing. choice here. I would Summer, say, winter, or fall? I would say because all things lovely happen in the spring, I would guess the spring. Well, we have summer, winter, fall. <laughs> Which just... <laughs> is it my fault that your research department is stupid? <laughs> say we got to move along here. They're summer, buying the money fall, here, Joey. Each I would have to say... I know you have to move along. Everybody else did a monologue. <laughs> I would, but me, you gotta move along. Summer, winter, fall. You come to me in case you have to make up time, right? That's it, yes. Just don't edit me. I'm sorry. I would say fall. I'll disagree. It's the fall. It changes color in autumn with a circle. And uh, we have this commercial word. We'll be right back. Pollen. Before Virginia Graham was a talk show hostess, what did she do for a living? Oh. Uh, she was a pilgrim. <laughs> Now, I'm going to go with uh, something we found out uh, on the daytime, I think it was, uh, Hollywood Square. She uh, was a newspaper lady, a reporter. I agree. I'll, I'll get uh, an answer from Virginia. Is that true? In part. Yes. yes. We can accept yes. that? I went to bed with the print. Is that it? All right, we'll accept that, and we'll put a circle right there. Charlie, go right ahead. Charlie Weaver to block. In the Bible, Chuck, who was Naomi? In the Bible, who was Naomi's faithful companion? Virginia Graham. Oh, now it's <laughs> leave Virginia alone. Was there from Zimmer's Jr. Oh, for a that? while? <laughs> tired of him. But who was Naomi's faithful companion in the Bible? Well, my sister's name was Naomi, my own person, and uh, I think, and we used to, you know, we knew about the Bible, so I think it was Ruth. Ruth. I agree. You have the block, uh, Janet. Your turn, dear. Go ahead. Dennis Weaver. Dennis Weaver. In the old James Bond movies, Dennis, Sean Connery's number was 007. You remember right. that? That's okay. right. I agree. What with is that. his number in the new James Bond movie, Diamonds Are Forever? 007. I agree. That's right. It's the same. Very good, Charlie. Let's move it along. Go right. Hook lane, good luck. We all know that you can have your nose bobbed and your face lifted. Can you have your eyes lifted? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. I agree. It's done all the time. You have the block. Janet, go right ahead. Take mm -hmm. a start, yeah? And Buddy Hackett, you win? For $250, within 5%, what percentage of all mankind is Chinese? Well, let's see. There are two and a half billion people in the world. There are 850 million Chinese. 850 million is... Uh, 22 and a half percent. Janet? I disagree. 25%. We could accept 20 to 30. He is correct. We put an X there. Charlie McLean, your turn. Karen Valentine to win. For $750, at a recent Hollywood party, Tony Curtis's wife, Leslie, demanded that she be seated next to a particular star. What star did she want to sit next to? Um, this kid to the left. Buddy Hackett. Buddy Hackett. I agree. It was Tony Curtis, her husband. <laughs> we have a circle there, Janet. Go right ahead. Uh, Virginia Graham to win. For $250, according to statistics, do married people really live longer than single people? Yes. I agree. $250. Oh. Circle gets the square. Thank you. We're going to clear the board and start this round with Janet. $50 a square up there, buying for money. Pick a star there. Paul Lynn. Paul, according to Ava Gabor, I don't believe in them. They're unnatural. What doesn't Ava Gabor believe in? Uh, Raquel Welch. <laughs> 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 
that means time is up, but we have to complete the question. Now, what, what, what does uh, Ava Gabor not believe in? <laughs> she doesn't believe in something. What is it? It just period. No, in regard to no one. Uh, she just, there's something she doesn't believe right. in. Right. Um, I don't think she believes in uh, overnight success. Overnight success. I disagree. No, it's bras, which is kind of what overnight <laughs> success is. We, we have a circle, and that means the time is up, ladies and gentlemen. Now we'll add up the scores. Uh, you have $50 won in this game, $250 won in the last game, for a total of $300 in cash. But uh, beyond that, Janet, you have won $2,261 in our secret square, and we congratulate you, and we have lovely party gifts. You've been a most delightful guest. Charlie, we're going to add up your score. Well, you won the secret square. That's worth over $2,300. You have $500 in cash, and do you, do you know what that means? No, sir. You don't? No, I sure You've never watched our nighttime show? I sure have, every time. Well, then what's the winner win? An automobile. Gets it. That's right. You have the Chevrolet Vega. And there are your keys, Charlie McLean. We congratulate you very much. Oh, hey, I want to thank Buddy Hackett from the Sahara Hotel. Karen Valentine, Room 222. Chuck Hope Lang, The Dick Van Dyke Show. Wally Cox, Virginia Graham, The Virginia Graham Show. Joey Bishop, The Sands Hotel. Dennis Weaver has a brand new album, and he's got a clever title for the album. It's called Dennis Weaver. And, uh, Paul, it's always a pleasure. On behalf of the stars, we congratulate the players, and we wish you and yours a very lovely evening. Bye-bye. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Oh, that's it. Whoa, whoa, slow down. So there's two of them. One big red one, one guy in a suit, 42 long Armani. That sounds like whammy, all right. Yeah, they asked you a question. Who invented blue jeans? You guessed Sergio Valente? No, it was Levi Strauss. And they took your money, and they sprayed you with seltzer water. Did you try yelling big bucks, no whammies? Did you just curse me? Watch out, it's back. Whammy, the all-new Press Your Luck. Weeknights at 10 p.m. only on Game Show Network. Yes, come on, it's really just a game show. Really, ask me a question.